Hello everyone, Thomas Ronda here, and um, yeah, welcome to another video on this channel. Uh, today, I will be showing you guys my F122 in game settings. Uh, many of you, many of you have been asking what your settings in game, what your camera settings, etc. Well, today in this video, I'm gonna show you guys uh, what my settings are. So uh, yeah, let's dive into it. So as you can see, uh, assist, double assist, uh, I'm using at all. Uh, this is all dependent on what you're using, obviously. Um, on screen is play. Um, on screen is play, obviously on. Um, for the cockpit view, I like to have it on as well. For whenever I want to do cockpit uh, driving, I like to have a bit more information of what's going on because if you have it off, then you're missing out on a few information you you, you want to have. So uh, yeah, if you want some more information, I would recommend turning this on. Um, Obviously, this, this all depends where you live. Uh, I live in Europe, so it's, it makes sense to use KPAs and uh, degrees Celsius. Track map, I like to have it, uh, a full track map uh, so I can see where everyone is on the map. Unlike if you use the mini map, then you can basically see one or two corners. Um, so, yeah, I recommend using full track map. Um, Delta time, I like to have it on to see if I'm approving or not, otherwise, I will have to look on my string while in the game, which is very, very small. Um, so I like to have that on. Proximity arrow is on to see if a driver is close behind. Um, and also you can see which direction they're going, if they're going for an overtake. Um, and in general to see if they're close to you uh, behind. Driver tags, I like to have it on as well. Uh, this is way easier to see who I'm battling and uh, I don't have to look to the top left of my screen to see who I'm battling, basically. And uh, start lights on. Makes sense to have it on, I think pretty much everyone uses it. So, yeah, I like to have that on. Rear view mirror, virtual rear view mirror, I like to have that off. A few people would like to have that on to be able to not press the A button and just look on top of your screen where it is. Um, I don't like it personally, but again, Sole personal preference. Um, permanent session time, I like to have that on. If you have it off, then you can only see the last five minutes of the qualifying session. And especially, let's say, league racing or F1 esports, uh, you want to know how much time you have left when you're on the track, when you're on an out lap, when you're on a flying lap, when you're on an in lap. It's uh, way easier to have it on, and you can also kind of judge how long uh, you have left when you come into the pits, for example. Um, or display objective panel, I like, I like to have it off as well. Again, personal preference. Now on to the controls, vibration and force feedback. Uh, I'm on the DD1, so it, uh, it might be a bit different if you're on a different wheel. Um, you can copy these settings if you want. Um, yeah, important maybe to know the overtake button, the pit limiter button, the arrows, flashback, all those kind of buttons. Very important. Navigate buttons are always default. Uh, except in advance, makes sense to have it on A and this on B. And um, I think the rest is default, but I'll, I'll screw through anyway. So as you can see, these are all unassigned. I don't use that personally. Maybe you want to use this brake bias or differential. Uh, I use it in other games, but I don't particularly like to use that in uh, in F1. But Personal preference as always. Now onto the calibration. Um, this all depends uh, what uh, what equipment and what hardware you dri uh, driving with. Um, for me personally, I need to use free brake dead zone. Um, this way, if it just is the full hundred percent, if I have it on a zero, for example, it's gonna brake for no reason, basically on the straights, and you don't want that to happen. So free for me is a sweet spot, um, and again, this all depends for equipment you're using. Um, onto the vibration force feedback, uh, makes sense to have it on, obviously force feedback. Um, I recommend on any wheel, or any base, I recommend having these three options that affects uh, off. Uh, wheel damper one, I found out if you're using two, three, or any higher than. I would say free, then 
it, it's gonna feel extremely heavy and you don't have the feeling you want on the car so I recommend either using zero or one um, just play around with it and then uh, you'll find out which one suits you the best um, this though depends on what you have I'm on a DD one so I like to have it in the middle um, but if you want a bit more force from the car you can up it and if you go too high you get a bit tired it might happen um, then you can always just go down and should be fine but I use 75 straight in the middle which is a default option as well um, so yeah unless the hand is off um, if you have it on you will feel the, the understeer on the car and you can't really play with the wheel um, it's been an issue for a bit in the beginning of the game where the honest NS was automatically on uh, that has been fixed luckily and uh, yep honest NS is now off which has been the case for me for the last f four games so very important to use this off uh, maximum re-rotation many people think 340 isn't that too high isn't that isn't that particularly great I like to have a bit more of a natural feeling unlike some other people who use 320, 310 or 300 degrees uh, they want a, a bit more responsive car but personally I don't really like to have it on 300 or 310 I like to have it on 340 not quite 360 which I don't particularly like great um, so yeah 340 for me is the, the sweet spot and then 900 for the supercars which is the default option um, yeah that suits me quite well onto the graphics settings now uh, as you can see gamma adjustment 100 um, the default option if you go a bit higher it's all personal preference obviously but if you go a bit higher you'll find out it goes a bit lighter uh, and if you go lower it goes a bit darker um, I like to have an 100, it suits me quite well, and uh, never really changed it. Motion blur 0 makes sense to have on 0. If you have it on 20, for example, it's gonna it's gonna blur a lot, and uh, the car won't look particularly great. It's gonna lag a bit, and uh, you don't want that to happen. So 0 is uh, the best for me. Um, onto the actual graphics, uh, I have everything to the lowest possible. Uh, you'll find out a lot of league races and esports drivers use the lowest possible option. Um, maybe if you're doing career mode, I recommend using uh, a bit higher settings, maybe medium or high. Um, but if you if your PC can handle it and you want to go high, make sure these four options um, are all off. Because if you have it on, it uh, it will lose your FPS and um, it basically ruins the quality um, of the game. So, if you're doing that in career mode, make sure to have these four options off. Um, pretty much in general, just have it off because it's, 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 it ruins the quality. Um, now, onto the video mode. Uh, as you can see, I'm on a 3080. Um, for me, 2560, 4040 works the best. Um, if your PC can't handle it, uh, I recommend going to 1080, um, which is probably the best if you don't want any uh, losing FPS. Um, V-Sync, very important as well. If you have it on, you're limited to 60 FPS and um, basically ruins the whole quality of the game. And um, you can't go higher than 60 FPS, which is obviously not what you want. So I have that off. Uh, V-Sync at the full auto, some people might use one. Um, but that's literally all personal preference. I would say test it out and um, yeah, play with these two options. Um, I have my FPS cap to 250. Um, you can have it off, uh, which means you have no limit of, of FPS. And uh, whatever your PC you can have at the time, that's the FPS you'll use. Uh, but I like to have it 250 because if I'm above 400 FPS, for example, then it's gonna feel a bit too natural for me and uh, yeah I like to have 250 that's uh, the sweet spot for me uh, Anya Sotrick filtering 16x uh, the highest possible um, 
makes sense to use the highest for this one and then sharpening for the anti analyzing you can you can use this if you want to but I personally found out that this option is the the best by far um, then the resolution is off and uh, you can copy the rest if you want now onto the audio settings uh, as you can see you might know that I don't have my music on um, personal preference I don't like it on uh, for one reason which is I want to be 100% focused when I'm uh, loading into the lobby um, again personal preference you can have it on it's it is it's yeah it's fine um, master volume uh, 6 um, all depends what your volume is from your headset um, you can have it on 10 but that's too high for me I found 6 was uh, the best for me uh, effects speech other cards and voice chat on 9 Having a 10 for me, I found out, is a bit too high for all these four options. Um, again, personal preference, um, you can copy them if you want to, uh, but that's what I use. Onboard mix cinematic, uh, speaker type is TV speakers, and uh, important for engineer ducking, have it off, because if you have it on light, then the in game sound will decrease and. Um, I don't particularly like it, I want to have the full volume from the car, so I like to have it off. Also, important the performance of the audio uh, quality. I have it on ultra low is the best, because as you can see, if you put it to uh, ultra high, increasing the audio quality will significantly increase the CPU load. And that might ruin the sound, and it might bug out, and it might uh, sound uh, not particularly amazing. Um, many Lubas has found that out when um, in the beginning of the game you have it on ultra high it will uh, stutter a lot no matter what you use um, but that's been fixed but having an ultra low is for me the best personally um, yeah the language multiplayer audio assist and the radio music you can copy them if you want to uh, I have it all on default pretty much maybe apart from main commentator um, Actually, no, I think that's default. Um, yeah, I think you can copy them if you want to, but I think this is probably the best you want to use. Um, pretty much default. So yeah, those were those options from the, the in-game. Now we need to jump into a uh, time trial to show you guys the camera settings. Uh, many of you have been asking, what are your camera settings? Well, there you go, those are the camera settings. I use TV port. Um, the last two games I used Offset, but I found this game, uh, TV Port, is uh, the best for me. Um, so if you're using TV Port, you can copy them if you want to. Uh, field of View is minus 6, uh, Lateral is 0, Offset Horizontal is 5, Offset Vertical 20, The Angle is minus 20, uh, Naked Play minus 5, uh, The Mirror Angle 0, so you can uh, see who's behind you, and if you have it on minus 20 vehicles you'll see on the bottom right and the bottom left you can only see the tires and if you move them up to 20 you can only see the air which is <laughs> not what you want to want to see so I reckon from minus 4 to plus 4 um, yeah between minus 4 and 4 you wanna you can basically just play around with it um, I like to have it on 0 so I can see the 4 car by me but you can change it around with it uh, between this uh, ratio. Um, yeah, between the ratio of minus four and four, you want to be using this. Um, camera shake, camera movement, zero. Having it on at all, like a one, it's, it's, it, it doesn't feel natural for me. It's, it's distracting a lot. So make sure to have these two options off, no matter what. Um, so yeah, those are my camera settings. Now onto the last part, the on-screen display. Um, I have everything default, but um, this one right there, I have it a bit more up, so this way I can just about see all the info from my steering wheel, um, my ERAs, the tire degrees, um, the gear I'm in, which position, etc., etc. Um, 
yeah, you can have it a bit more higher. I recommend not having it to default because then you'll see half a steering wheel, which is not really ideal, I must say. So put this up ever so slightly. Um, and um, yeah, this is what it looks like in game. So uh, as you can see, this is what it looks like in the game. Uh, as you can see, just above the steering wheel, you can uh, see the uh, info. And um, yeah, I like to have it this way. This is how uh, also my camera said it look. I like it a lot. Um, so yeah, that's how that looks. Um, so that is the end of all my settings. I hope you enjoyed um, the video as always. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe and um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao!